Okay, today I'm going to show you how to root a Samsung Epic 4G from Sprint, not the Touch. This is the one that has the keyboard in it. <clears throat> I'm going to show you it can be done. I have Super User right there. And it is active. Here's my log. So I, have, I am some Super User. What you need to do if you've updated anything on your phone, your Android, anything is go to about phone and you need to be on Froyo DK28 you can see that in order to do so I'm going to show you today how to do everything first what we want to do power the phone off we need to put the phone back to stock so while the phone's powering off we will come over to the computer and we'll open a program called Odin as soon as the phone powers off, it should vibrate after it's done powering off. You're going to hit 1 and the power button until you see an Android with a shovel. And then what you want to do is plug your data cable into the top of your phone, like so. It should say in yellow, COM, it doesn't matter what the number is. What you want to do is come over here and take the TAR file that I'll have in the description to download and put it in there. Uncheck F reset time, only auto reboot needs to be checked. And you're going to hit start. And what it's going to do is take this phone completely back to stock stock everything. And I will be back whenever it's done. Alright, as you can see, it says passed, which means it has passed, and my phone is now restarting. And this will bring you back completely to stock. You will not, if you taking the phone back for some reason, this will unroot the phone. If you have some way bricked your phone, which means it no longer works, it's just a nice paperweight. Froyo in this method will unbrick the phone. Semi brick, hard brick, any brick, it will unbrick the phone. This is the only phone so far that I know that you can unbrick easily. It will always the Samsung will be there for a minute. Always always take the song on the first boot. Any ROM or anything you put on there. It'll take this long for a second. Now the phone has booted up, I will show you some of the stock. If you go, all the stock apps that come on it are there. I will also in the next tutorial show you how to remove all these stupid apps that are unneeded. <clears throat> okay, so now you see where you're not rooted, and we are on. Fro, however the hell you say that, Froyo DK28. We are on that build. It is time to root your phone. Get super user. So what you want to do is plug your phone in. Okay. <clears throat> what you want to do to root the phone is go to the root kit that I supplied. First we need to go to settings, applications, development, USB debugging on, cannot connect, unplug the charger, 
Just be connect. Yes. Plug it back in. So now that USB debugging is on, we want to root the phone. Press any key to continue. Phone not connected. You want to go to your device manager. And right there, scan for hardware changes. If you don't see anything out of the ordinary in your device manager, then you should be good to go. So we'll try this again. Yes. It is going to root the phone now. Fully. It takes a minute. It's going to wait for the phone to reconnect now. It will restart your, your phone. If it has restarted the phone, then you know it is done right. Once the phone restarts, and it has sent a signal back to the root, root program that has restarted successfully it will clean up files and tell you to exit the program. As it is telling me now. So, we are back to the screen. It's going to do its stupid scan that it always does. So we're going to come over here and super user right there. As you can see, we are super user now. And we are still going to be on Froyo. That is important for you to be on there. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to remove all these apps on your device. So tune in next time. If you have any suggestions or you don't have any questions, feel free to ask me. Suggestions about any other tutorials, please let me know. Thank you. Have a good day.